Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on how to customize the standard report in the Oracle Fusion. Okay. So who already works on an R12, they know there are a lot of Oracle seeded reports. So sometime we have to customize that the Oracle standard report. Okay. So in the same Fusion also we are having lot of Oracle standard reports or we can say that Oracle seeded report so we have to customize that report also so in this video i am going to explain you that how to customize that report okay so before starting just i want to say that if you are new on my channel please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn the oracle fusion you can go through my fusion playlist coming back to the topic so for implementing this customization of the oracle report First of all, I have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance. So I am on my Oracle Fusion instance. You can see the home page of the Oracle Fusion instance. So first of all, I will show you one standard report. And then after I will tell you that how to customize that standard report. So we will customize the receivable report. So first we will see the output of that report. So first I am going to the receivables. So here is my receivables. I am just clicking on this receivable tab. And here is a billing. And here is another one icon so in on this book icon i have to click on and manage transaction so here are some transaction so here is the transaction source so we can fetch any type of an invoice from here suppose i am extracting the contract invoice so i had selected contract invoice and i had just clicked on the search button so you can see all the transactions or all the invoices are there so i am selecting one random transaction or random invoice detail from this so it will redirect me on the other page where the invoice is so we can see the details so here is an one button that is an a view image okay so if i click on this view image what it will going to do just it will show me the detail of this all invoice in one pdf format so it is generating so you can see that the pdf is generated you can download that pdf and you can print out that pdf also so this pdf shows me all the details okay so how this pdf will make so this is nothing but the rtf template and that rtf template will get called when i clicked on this view image button okay so i am just downloading this for the sample and i am just clicking on ok so when this pdf will generate or come so when i am clicking on this view image button that pdf is generating so on this view image button one program or one ess job will get called and that pdf will generate so that ess job name is print receivable transaction so i will do one thing i will write some steps or some detail on the notepad okay print receivable transactions okay so this was the ess job name so i am just writing here ess job name okay now we will go to ess job window and we will try to search this respective ess job is there or not so what i am doing i am just clicking on the home button and i am going back to the home page where i can search the ess job related details so this is my home page here is the drop down icon and i can click on here setup and maintenance after that we will come on this page so here is another one icon so here i can click on the search button or search link here we have to search manage enterprise job so i am just writing in short and i am just clicking on the search button so we have to search the ess job that's why i had written this manage enterprise job so here is an a manage enterprise schedule job for scm so i am just clicking on this second link so it will redirect me on the other page so you can see these are all listed ess job over here okay so if you want to search any type of an ess job over here just we have to write over here so what i am doing so i am just copying the same name which i written on the my notepad i am going here and searching it so you can see that there are lot of print receivable transactions okay 
so this is nothing but the print receivable transaction email delivery then this is an chargebacks and so on so but we are having the invoice related so what will be our perfect name so this will be my perfect name that is print receivable transaction invoice okay so i am just copying this name and i am going back to my notepad and here i am just pasting this new name also okay and i am just clicking here and i will just click on the edit button so this is my edit button so what it will do it will edit my respective ess job which type of a report is calling over here this respective report is calling over here so which is having the location as financials receivables bill presentment default invoice dot xdo so i have to go till this location so for that what i have to do so i have to go to the catalog page i am just on the home page here i am just going to tools so this is my tools and here report and analytics then here is an a browse catalog button so i just have to click on that browse catalog so it will redirect me on the catalog page so this is my catalog page so what is our location so i am just going back to the other tab so this report id so i what i will do i will just copy this entire path on the notepad so which will be helpful for us so my location is in a financial then receivables then bill presentment so i am on the catalog page so here is an a shared folder under shared folder we are having financials so here is my financial after that what we are having receivables here is an receivables and after we are having bill presentments so this is bill presentment so you can see the same path that is in a shared folders financial receivables and the bill presentment so here we have to search for some respective xdo so what is the xdo name that is an default invoice dot xdo so i am just searching for the default invoice dot xdo so we won't find that default invoice dot xdo because these names are used for saving the report and the xdo name is different so for that what we have to do just we have to find some invoice related thing okay so here we are having only one invoice related template okay so what i can do so i can check here like this click on this more and here is an a property so after clicking on property i am going down over here and here we can find that default invoice dot xdo and the same path okay the same path is over here okay so by this way we have to search that okay so it is not written anywhere that this xdo is having this respective invoice print template name so we have to find some time it using the mention steps okay so this is the same invoice okay i am just clicking on okay so it is name is an invoice print template okay now in this more what we are having we are having some certain options like history delete copy rename add to favorite create shortcut archive property and permissions okay so these are the options over there but what we need we need to customize this respective report so for doing the customization we are having one concept of xml p server okay so what is it xml p server so i am just writing here xml p so if you want to edit or if you want to do any type of an a report customization that time we have to use this xml p server concept okay so what we have to do with this xml p server so we have to just copy our environment link okay so what i am doing i am just copying my environment link over here and after that slash i have to write this xml p server and i have to just hit the same link into the browser so i am going back to the browser and in new tab i had hit that respective url so as soon as you hit that url which we had written on the notepad so we will get this type of an a window okay so here is an a bi publisher enterprise that is an a xml p server so this is the home page where we can do any type of an report customization so here you can see there is an some option home catalog new like this so here 
we just have to go to the catalog okay so as soon as we click on the catalog it will redirect me on the xmlp server only okay so here we will see same catalog with the same shared folder and same things but here we can do the customization on that regular catalog page we can't do the customization so here under shared folder we will go to the financials so here is my financial the same path we have to follow which we had already noted on our notepad so which was that this is financial receivables bill presentment and then the default invoice dot xdo so financials then there is an a receivables so this is my receivables then this is the bill presentments then here we are having that respective invoice print template okay so here also i am just clicking on more and you can see now what options we are having add to favorite delete copy cut rename download and customize this lot of different options we are having so here on the general catalog window we are having some different operations okay now i am on xmlp server page so now if we want to do customization just i have to click on this more and this is the customize option so as soon as we click on customize it will open that respective template okay but here we have to do one more thing so what i am doing now i am going back to the xmlp server window and then after i am just going to the shared folders and in shared folder we are having one folder that is an custom and in custom we are having financials and under financials we are having the receivables and under receivables we are having bill presentment and under bill presentment what we had done we had done the customization for this respective template okay so you can see this respective template is appeared here also okay so after clicking on the custom only it will appear over here so what happened over here so as soon as we clicked on the custom it had recopied all the respective files which are already present into the financial to the this custom folder so we can do the customization over there okay because we are having all the detail into this custom folder we can see the path so previously the custom is not there now it is under the custom folder now if i want to do any type of any change i can do it over here and that same change which will be reflect on the receivable page invoice where we had seen that pdf report so i am just opening that previous pdf report so this pdf report we can customize based on our requirement okay so how we can do that so till now i had told you that how to copy the respective report for customization into the custom folder okay so in our next video we are going to see how to do the customization for that report if you are having any type of doubt you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching